I'm not sure which way you use to solve this, but I'm just going to show you the way that I would normally solve it. Um, it's up to you if you want to use this method in the future. But I don't like the denominators, so I always want to start by getting rid of those. So I have a 4, a 12, and a 15. So I want to multiply the whole equation by something that would get rid of the 4, 12, and 15. Basically, the lowest common multiple of 4, 12, and 15. So it might be hard to figure out off the top of your head, but what I do is I take the largest number, and I just keep looking at each multiple of that and seeing if these go into it. So does 12 go into 15? No. Double it. 30. 4 goes into 30? No. Add another 15. 45? No. 60. 5, 15 times 4 is 60. 12 goes into 60. 4 goes into 60. So I think we're good. Okay, so we're going to go with 60. So I'll multiply the entire equation by 60. Okay, and since it's a multiple of all, four, all three of these, it should reduce so that all of the fractions go away. I'll multiply all three terms by 60. So I'm going to get 60x over 4 equals... 60 times 5 is 300 over 12 minus, I'm just going to leave the 60 out front right now, 60 times parentheses, 6 minus x. It'll just make things easier in the end, over 15. Okay, so now I'm going to try and reduce these fractions, and hopefully they reduce nicely. 60 divided by 4, that's going to give me 15x. x doesn't go away. 300 divided by 12. What is 300 divided by 12? Let's see. 300 divided by 12. We get 25. So this is going to be 25. Minus 60 divided by 15. That's going to be 4. So this reduces to 4. And now I can distribute that 4. And this is a negative 4. Don't forget that negative. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. Negative 4 times negative x is positive 4x. That might have been where the mistake was made because that's a tricky thing to catch. So now I'm just going to move all my variable terms to one side. My 15x's are here. I'm going to subtract the 4x from both sides. So I get 11x on the left-hand side equals 25 minus 24 is 1. When I divide by 11, I'm just going to get x equals 1. 